to learn how to control light in your photography? Hi friends, this is Chelsea from Digital Art Teacher and today we're going to be doing something a little different than what you're used to seeing from me. If you've watched any of my videos before, then you're used to seeing me create step-by-step -step instructions on how to use Photoshop and Illustrator. Today I'm introducing my new types of lighting units. I'm also going to be giving you some resources that you can use to help you learn to use the different types of light in photography. You should know that this is not an exhaustive list, but it will be a good starting point for you as you move forward into more advanced photography. In the Types of Lighting unit from digitalartteacher.com, you'll find instructions on how to recreate an image from a famous photographer. You'll learn how to emulate the light that they used so that you can learn how to control light in your own photography. I've written a series of posts about how to recognize different types of light. I've linked them below, but to summarize, I talked about the difference between hard and soft light, the direction of light, and some key considerations to consider like ambient light and catch light. I also want to highlight some different videos that explain how to use the different types of light techniques. But since I don't have the same kind of lights that you may have available, I wanted to give you a variety of videos from different experts with different equipment. This way, you can see how they use the equipment and learn from them to control the light in your projects. This first video talks about the difference between hard and soft light. The second one shows a lot of different materials you can use to control that soft light. This next one talks about the position of light and how it appears on the subject. And this is a longer extended version of the direction of light and how it affects the subject. This one talks about how to control ambient light and even shows you some specific shutter options. This one talks about how you can create an effective rim light in your photography. And then lastly, if you don't have much equipment available, this last one talks about how to create a setup with a very small budget. All of the videos that I recommend will be in the description of this video and on the project page for the unit. Hopefully you'll be able to use one of my recommended videos for your projects. But if not, there are lots of videos on YouTube on all of these lighting topics. If you're a photography teacher and you're interested in teaching a unit on how to duplicate lighting conditions, you can learn more at digitalartteacher.com or just click the link above. Have a very creative day and I'll see you in the next video.